Hello and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this week's new episode of the Xbox Lunch Break Special. I'm your host, Mr. Boomstick XL. And folks, we have an absolutely outstanding show. We're going to be talking about the future of Xbox consoles, one of which is more than likely going to be a hybrid handheld. Of course, we're going to be talking about the three stories from Tom Henderson that dropped almost consistently one on one on Friday, one on Saturday, one today uh, regarding the specs and more information about the PlayStation 5 Pro. The more that we hear about it, the more that we hear that there's not going to be a big bump uh, in uh, hardware. Certainly, I know that the, the 30 t, uh, 33 T flips or the <laughs> floppity flips that everyone keeps talking about sounds like a big number. Um, again, I talked to a few people that I trust. Uh, many people are in the that are in the know seem to think that this and those numbers are from the dev kits, not the actual final PlayStation 5 Pro. Again, it's subjective because we don't know. Uh, this is a rumor. It was from a you know a credible source or a cre- an accredited source that Tom Henderson does in fact uh, believe and trust. And listen, I'm not here to argue with either of them. This is what they're reporting. This is the news that they were given, and we're going to run with it. But before we get even to that, we're going to talk about Hellblade because no one seems to be talking about Hellblade 2. And did you see some of those screenshots that came the way of Ninja Theory? Well, if you missed them, we're going to show you them live on the air. I'm going to do a screen share so you can see the actual tweet from Ninja Theory. And my God. Those those screenshots, by the way, were taken from an Xbox Series X, and I don't necessarily know you have can you that we have seen graphics this good. Um, and obviously, you know, thanks to the Insomniac leaks, even Insomniac is trying to get their own games to the level of Hellblade Two. That tells you how far advanced they are. But before we even get there. Let's get into the introductions, and we'll start first with, of course, Gamsley making his return. What's going on, brother? How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm here, boom. I feel great. I'm almost moved into my new place. I've been playing nice. some Warhammer Bolt Gun. I've been oh, playing good. some games. Such a fun game. Man, that game is so good. <laughs> like, it brings me back. The, the Doom style, I, I hope they do a spinoff. I've said it in multiple podcasts, but that game's amazing. I hope they do, like, I hope the Doom team does, like, a spinoff back in the future uh back in the past of those days and uh uses that art style again it's so fantastic um but yeah besides that everything's go uh, good i'm ready to go i'm ready to talk some games and uh hellblade and of course you know ps5 or something let's go yeah yeah. we're we're gonna get into all of it folks uh and of course uh joining us because we have a few people absent from today's show uh, Fuzz Belvedere, in fact, had to do something with his family. As a matter of fact, he really wants to sink his teeth into this PlayStation 5 Pro. He does have a lot of technical knowledge, so he is going to be joining Steel Rain and Infinite Umber tomorrow on the Xbox Factor podcast at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. He has a lot to say on this subject, and he also told me, don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe, and I absolutely uh, can't wait to hear what he has to say. But uh, Crazy Lou Gaming should be here momentarily. As far as we know, he was uh, going to attend. But we'll see what happens. I hope, again, hopefully he, he wasn't arrested on his way in. Obviously, that did happen in real life. He was. But no, he was. Definitely he was arrested. Was. But it was, yep. it, it was a misunderstanding. Uh, Sir X-Men, how you feeling, brother? Welcome. I'm feeling good. How is everybody doing? Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. I've been hooked. I've been still playing Tomb Raider. Okay. <laughs> me and ice man yeah, yeah, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with that the games uh again it's a trilogy uh remastered uh, i bought it i did not play it it's in the backlog yeah. um all i can you do is got to get used to the old controller style again that's all yeah i, I mean we'll, we'll we'll see uh it's i'm still uh i tr- you know it's funny um i buy a lot of games on xbox uh on the store Mm-hmm. Um, so I had bought a couple of smaller games from some indie developers because I like supporting the indies and they weren't good. Uh, either they didn't start when they started, they were broken. Uh, some didn't even have achievements. It, they were pretty terrible. Uh, oh, so I, my I, buddy got, sorry about it. My buddy got me hell divers to Saturday. 
Oh, nice, nice for PC. So. Uh, well, there you go. Play on PC. That's where seems, everyone seems to be playing it. So I returned. <laughs> I think it was like three or four games, right? Ooh. Um. So you know, again, if you buy the game, if it doesn't work, it's broken. It's sucks. So you got to return. What are they? So I could stay away from them. Yeah, you you wouldn't even think about buying them. They're like such obscure titles. This is one uh, the card game that everyone's addicted to. I hated it, so I returned it. Um, uh, Solastro, really, whatever. you hated yeah. that? Oh, yeah, I didn't man, like it. I'm it's not, I'm, so I'm not, fun. How long like did you it. give it? Oh, I played a bit um, of it. I was like, yeah, I'm just not a card guy. I, I know a lot of people like yeah. super addicted to it. You know what? Fine, it's great. Maybe maybe, maybe I missed it, but. Last week I bought, and this is this is where it sucks. Um, and I I I got I got to put the Xbox uh, support team on blast. Normally they're really good, so I bought Battlefront, um, and Battlefront, yeah. as we know, is, is a piece of shit, right? It's oh, it's, really? it's 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 it sucks. You, I can't even get in to play a game. Um, I, Are I you can't talking about get... the remake? Yes. Yeah. It's by, oh by, yeah. By, yeah. It's, it's awful. Uh, so I I I said, yeah, you know what? I can't even get to the title screen. Let me return this, and don't mm. you know I get a denial? Oh, you've returned uh, four games this year, and that's the limit for the year. And I'm like, really? I'm sorry. I returned like a five dollar game, like a three dollar game, because I like smaller games. Um, I you know some of them. Do you are, remember what the games were? Boom. Um, I don't. I'd have to go into my my oh, thing. The, the 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 point of the matter is this. If you don't return more than four games, so, that my, so lesson learned, right? You, you, you can you can teach old dogs new tricks. I I'm not buying things that. anymore on this unless I watch a video of it. I'm not going to take a chance on it, and I'm probably going to try again to return it because I'm sorry, the, the game is actually broken and it doesn't work. So if the game doesn't work, I shouldn't be stuck with it, even if I returned four other games throughout the year that were shit, that were just garbage that you let onto the store. No achievements. Uh, it just, I mean, how, how do they how do they pass uh, certification? I have no idea. But needless to say, uh, that I got stuck with uh, Battlefront, and I'm hoping at some point because I really wanted to play that. I'm a big fan of the OG one, and hopefully they fix it so I can actually play the game. Because now that I'm, I'm stuck with it. But listen, let's let's get into the the um some of the information for hellblade 2 folks i'm gonna do a screen share because i i you you need to see these screens uh for yourself um so give me a second hey, while bro, i do this i'd like to back out and come back in because this echo of me hearing myself is annoying okay yeah back <laughs> out brother no no sweat right. we'll get you back in, in a hot second All right. um so i'm gonna do a screen share folks for you and i'm gonna bring up one of the first screens Come on, let's go. All right, here we go. Wow, Jesus, man. Okay, That's so crazy. this 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 is one of the pictures of four that Ninja Theory put out there. Now, if you, I mean, obviously, I wish I could blow it up more. I don't, I don't really think I can on this way to make this bigger. I don't think that there is. Um, it's insane. Boom! Look at that thing. Jesus. Yeah. Now, I mean, the, the difference from when we first saw what Senua looked like in the sequel in 2019 versus what we're seeing now is just awe inspiring. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, this is running on Xbox Series X hardware, and already people are talking about PlayStation 5 Pro, the winner of the generation. Folks, this is tip of the spear graphics, but that's not the only one. Here, here, here's another one. Here's a. Um, all right, so this is a, this is a look at the environment. Like if you if I'm looking at it from my screen, and I know that it's I can see it from a bigger screen than you can. Pretty ridiculous, where you can see the reflection off of the rocks. Uh, you look, they look even like a little wet, right? Like it, it, like for the atmosphere, it looks phenomenal. There's another screenshot here that looks pretty good. Now again, you can see look look at Senua. You can see she's sweating. If you look under her, her her right ear, there are two droplets of sweat. That yeah, lighting is pretty sick. Boom, yeah, the lighting sick, is, yeah. is, is is bonkers. So here we go. I got look at this, folks. Mm. This is the game. This is what you're gonna have in under two months. In May, we're getting Hellblade Two in Xbox Game Pass on PC. And if you want to buy the game, fifty dollars. 
It's a fifty dollar game. It's a bargain bargain bin price, but this game eight to ten hours is what they're saying. I'll run through it three times. I'll, I'll get my I'll certainly get my money's worth. I'm not worried about that. I don't mind a ten hour experience, considering that most of us gamers are having a very hard time getting to other games because games are too big and a lot of games are coming out. So when this comes out, everything stops. And here we go. But but Gamzee, let, 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 let's, let's talk about this. This yeah. screen in front of you, you can see the scar on her face. You can see the sweat. Yeah. You can see the lines in her eyeball. <clears throat> yeah, man. It, it might be a dumb comparison, but like, the reactions I'm getting to this game right now is when we first saw the um, Tomb Raider, like the first Tomb Raider, like yes. reset. Yes. Like when I when I saw Tomb Raider, them rebooting Tomb Raider, and you get that shot of her, like you know, shimmying, doing the Uncharted shimmy um, through the rocks and stuff. This this like it's giving me the same impact. Like I just I love the visual style. Uh, it's giving me that punch in the face that I need for some from some uh, Xbox games. Yeah, I'm so ready for this game. Um, I'm so ready for this game. Boom, are you ready for this game? Look at this, guys. Yeah, I, I was uh a. I was a huge I wasn't everybody knows like I've said it on the podcast I, I'm not I don't think this is gonna like you know blow up the internet um I don't necessarily think it needs to uh the first game wasn't entirely my jam but I did complete it I had a lot of fun with it um man I'm just ready for this game and I hope people pick this up because 49.99 I didn't even know that I thought it was gonna be 79 or 69 I, yeah, I'm, they I'm, announced it. I yeah. I hope it does good on everything, man. I hope I hope Steam kicks off. I hope people start talking about this game because if anybody deserves it, this studio is like, man, they're good. They're really good, guys. Yeah, I mean, I uh, I, this is... Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, as we continue this conversation, Sir X-Man, uh, I, I don't know if you got a chance because I know that you had to back out to go change mm -hmm. some things. So I want to go back to the first screen that we saw and... I mean, look at the the difference in Senua. She almost looks like a different person, right? Like from it when looks we like first... a young Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, you could say that. Sure. I mean, the, the flames behind her, it, the lighting on the eyes, where it's kind of just like the rest of her face is dark, and you can see the lighting just across her Same eyes. Across her face, yes. Pretty, pretty impressive stuff here. Uh, and mind you, this is in fact confirmed to be running on an Xbox Series X, which is what most of us have. Um, it is going to have a very stout uh, and pointed uh, photo mode, uh, which I think is tremendous. I, I would imagine some of the pictures that are going to be taken are going to be just complete madness. Um, let's get your hot take on this. Uh, what, what, why? Well, I mean, obviously, these pictures just came out, right? Um, I don't know exactly when the tweet was. I know it was the other day, and I started to see the, the pictures float around. Here's another environmental uh, aspect. I don't know if that's Senua or someone else because it looks like she has long hair. Uh, but then again, that could be a dude because obviously I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure. It, it's, hard to, it's hard to get you know, to see the, the detail other than the arm, which looks muscular. It looks, um, like, a, it looks like an accu, like, like it a could be, it, could could very well be, and then of course this screen over here is a, uh, is Senua uh, again. I think what stands out for me besides uh, Gamsi's perfect uh, pointing of the lighting, like the lighting is something special here. The sweat that's going down her neck, uh, like you can see it glistening from the image that's in front of her, the glaring image in front of her. Pretty crazy, and I think I think this one is the one that takes the cake for me because apparently and again I'm, I'm, I'm on, this is subjective i suppose if you ask 10 people they're going to have about 10 different answers it looks like she's hiding behind something and there's what it could, i don't know if it's a just a, a warrior or a creature that's behind her and it's kind of like right out of a horror movie right like right out of a, a you know friday the 13th movie or something where the 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 protagonist is running for their lives and they stop and they superimpose on the face. This is a game. Like what you see in front of you is the game. That to me is bonkers. You Correct, see the man. fear. You can see the fear in her. Yeah. That's that's the that's the most serious expression. Yeah, I like I, I can't wait. I can't wait. 
It looks really awesome. Now I'm gonna. I have another tweet down here where they. Where is it? Okay, they. They. Okay, so let me just bring this one up here. Um, see if you can see that it's. It's a little bit more detailed in the face. Let me see if you can see what I'm saying. Okay, you are looking at what I'm looking at. Um, this was posted by someone else that they they, they made a, a more of a of a wide view of it. Um, and here's another one. Uh, I don't know if it's the yeah. same one. Yeah, it looks like it's the same one. All right. So, I mean, look, at the end of the day, folks, this is releasing this year. It is releasing in two months. It is releasing on the Xbox Series X and S. It is releasing on PC. It's going directly into Xbox Game Pass. It's 50 bucks. It is tip of the spear for graphics. Uh, I know that uh, if you're a fan of, of of the Iron Lords, as you should be, uh, Lord Cognito, the uh, host of that show, or one of the hosts of that show, have been asking for the hashtag just one. And I really think that this is the just one uh, that he's been looking for. Again, I can't really speak for a Cognito, but this is a single-player, story-driven, adult-themed, heavily graphic type of title. Eight to ten hours is what they're telling us. Now, for me, I don't play the games like everybody else. Um, I'll play uh, a God of War, for instance. And some people will run through it in 18 hours. I'll run through it in 50 hours. You say, wait a second, 50 hours? But what are you, crazy? Because I check every nook and cranny for every secret. I look for every side mission or side boss. I look for everything. I don't rush through a game to say I beat it. I don't do that. I'm not a child. I, I want to enjoy these types of experiences. And Sony's really good at doing it, right? Obviously, Ghost of Tsushima is another masterclass achievement. But when you look at those games, and they look great. They really do. And you see this Gamsley. I don't know, man. I'm starting to think that maybe we waited since 2018, since they were announced to being acquired. Now we're 2024. It's six years. Mm -hmm. And look. I have, I have one thing to say about this, What's which that? people never talk about. Get your, you got two months to get rewards points off, to get money, to buy this game to help the developer which the other side doesn't have rewards points. So play your games and get your points up. That way well, you'll yeah, save I'm, even I'm more at money on this game. right now as we speak. I'm, I'm going to just keep collecting points until the next console comes out, and that's what's going to pay for my console. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to pull a, a Dreadpool, which bought multiple consoles, PS, by the way, with Microsoft points. Um, shout out to him if he's in the chat. He bought a uh, PS5 with Microsoft points. No, no, he did not. He bought an Xbox Series S, and I think he might have gotten his X as well. I, 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 I got to make sure. But listen, um, I want to go right back to you, Gamsley. Uh, the What's more up? that we see of this game, right? The mm -hmm. more this this is the kickoff, if you will, for Xbox first party in 2024. We still have mm -hmm. Indiana Jones, which we've seen. It looks amazing. We still have Avowed. You still have uh, a couple of the RTS games coming out. You got a new flight sim coming out. And again, not for everybody, but mm -hmm. this is the kickoff in May, right before the big show in June, which is, again, lots of people are talking about it. Now, has there been anything uh, confirmed that's going to be there? No, there has not been. Um, I have heard that Microsoft is being extra cautious about you know leaks for this show i'm glad i don't want to know anything um i don't think anybody wants i think we all want to be surprised mm -hmm. it is going to be a banger of a show at least that is what i am hearing um so i don't want any leaks i don't want to know anything i want to be just as surprised as you but gamsley what a way to kick off your first party release for 2024 with this and again folks this is not being slanderous this is not being console warring having this as your kickoff when Sony has nothing, now I say nothing, and I'm, I want to be very precise here. Yes, MLB The Show is their one game this year. That's a multiplat. What I am referring to, and, and I'm using the PlayStation Gamer logic, if it's not exclusive to your box, then it doesn't count, right? If it's not a first-party uh, developed game, it doesn't count. That's their logic, so I'm using their logic against them. 
Okay, they don't have any first party games. This is a great kickoff. MLB show doesn't even fit their narrative either, by the way. No, because MLB no, is on Game Pass, isn't it? But anyway, it so is. not, let's not go into that. Um, yeah, man. Look, having if I could go, are you finished? Are you finished with your thing? Yeah, yeah. Do you I think talk about it? Thing. All yeah. right. So yeah, no. Uh, this as your kickoff is certainly a win in a lot of scenarios. I love I Game Pass has needed a little bit of first party push here and yeah. having this come out very soon is going to be the start of that push like you said i'm super excited we know that there's 10 games right or something around 10 games this year um coming out of xbox studios uh or partnerships i'm not sure the wording's weird but this is going to kick it off we could probably guess do you want to take some guesses on maybe a little bit of the games that are going to be announced for the showcase or do we want to just stay clear um, of that? yeah you know i, I want to kind of stay away from that for now yeah. it's something we're going to okay. definitely cover because i i i mean it's it, listen perfect dark is a good candidate fable is mm-hmm. a good candidate um dead um what's a zombie game oh my god oh uh, uh, yeah uh, state of k state of decay this, yes yes yeah that's yeah. probably a safe bet as well but oh uh, yeah not not bringing not bringing all that into it um if this kicks off and it hits and it lands, it could be, you know, really a really good setup and good omen for Xbox's whole year in general. Indeed. So I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. I hope they, I hope they land it. They need the win. Um, even though their competition is doing nothing, they have a huge push on, you know, they have a um, huge push on the, the, the media end on the good, like the fan base pushing them. And, you know, they have biases and they have the biggest, you know, fan base pushing their butt um and they have square enix leading the charge and all that stuff for them so uh, they xbox needs this they just need a big nine out of ten right to to get kicked off and i can't wait man yeah me too hey listen let's welcome in crazy lou gaming crazy lou gaming oh no please no leave him in jail lou Lou, no 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 ever (laughs) uh crazy i build you out by the way (laughs) <laughs> welcome back brother how you feeling oh i'm feeling great feeling great man excellent stuff this week some crazy news i'm telling you so let's yeah. get this on the road yeah well you know what did, did you get a chance to check out the tweet from uh ninja theory regarding the four new screen shots of oh. of hellblade 2 Oh, I saw that they're, they're having photo mode on there, isn't it? Yes, yeah, that, yeah. that's the one. We're, that's the one we're talking about because uh, you know what? Let me let me while well, you because know, we that was the first opening topic, and because you are here, kind sir, let me bring that up for you, uh, Ninja Theory here. Okay, so this is one of the screens, and if you Ooh. look at this Crazy Lou Gaming, this is a monster uh, uh, step up from what how. And what we saw in 2019 when we we learned that not only the Xbox Series X existed, but Hellblade 2. Uh, what a difference. I mean, even back then, it looked amazing. I think it looks 10 times better. What are your thoughts on these screens? Man, Mr. Boomstick, every time I see Hellblade, every time something new pops up, I just it just blows my mind. I feel like this game is just going to be the, the, the topic of performance on that console. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's just going to take all the juice out of that console. And I'm happy that we're finally going to see something that's actually going to push the hardware in this baby because that's what we want to see. We want to see how good and how badass this Xbox Series X and Series S work. That's what we want to see. We don't want to see because now I know later on we're going to talk about the PS5 Pro and all that stuff, right? And Here's the thing about these games that that have been releasing. We have not seen one game, an actual one game that can say. There could be some, right? But one game that comes out and just pushes the limits of these consoles. I mean, I want to see it push to the limits. I want to see it. I want to see it barbecue itself. That's what I want to see. I want to see. Here's here's another one that's even more impressive. Check this out. Look at this. That's beautiful. Like you could see the scar on her face. You can see the sweat rolling down her cheek. Obviously, uh, and you can see the terror in her face. And I don't know what that is behind her, where she's hiding or what's looking for her. But like the the pupil in her eye. Yeah, you see the red. 
You see the red veins in the eyeball. It is freaking bonkers to me. Oh my um, god, that's just awesome. I haven't I, I haven't sat down and actually watched these pictures, but now looking at it here, my god, it's you can't, you can't watch pictures, Louis. You gotta you gotta you gotta look at it. Oh yeah, watch stop teasing me. Uh, <laughs> but, so, man, so, so, so Louis, listen, um the, the question that I pose to the panel is, you know, we we keep hearing about everything but Hellblade, which, by the way, releases in two months. No one's talking about it. The media should be all over this. Uh, they exactly. haven't. Um, and when, like, for instance, when these screeners were dropped, I didn't see. Now, I, again, I sometimes I miss things. Did anyone see IGN? Do a story on how great this looks. Did anyone no. see GameSpot no. do a story on these amazing screens? No, uh, I didn't no. see anything. I, I don't but, know why, but I didn't see anything. And this is the stuff media has to tackle down because I mean, there hasn't been any good. Like, I mean, we we don't have any good news or anything. What's going on lately? All we have was a couple release games. Okay, that's cool, which is fantastic. But we haven't had like. Like talks or anything about what's upcoming. It's kind of been like a slow topic thing these past two weeks. It's like there hasn't been anything out there for us to sit down and be like, oh wow. For example, that with Hellblade, that's that that should be a conversation to have. That should be something that it should be all over the media. Talk about look how good this game this game is and all that stuff. Is it actually gonna push the limits on the hardware? That's something that they should be talking about. Jesus, I don't understand why they don't bring this up. I don't understand. Yeah, that's that's a good point, Lou. I, you know, I totally glossed over that. I, I now that you mention it, guys, you're right. I had I I saw nothing about this, and it's nope. it's sad. Nope, it's really sad. Not 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 a story. Like for instance, IGN, they're a piece of shit site, right? Like I I I, I hold I don't hold my I don't hold my tongue to, uh, for IGN. Uh, F them. Sorry, they're just they're just garbage. Um. And uh, I, like I said, I, I, listen, I, I've been told this. I know that me going against the media has closed some doors for the channel. You know what? I'll just keep doing the mom and pop thing, and maybe we'll get to 25,000 subs one day by doing it the right way, not selling out for, you know, to the quote unquote, the man of gaming. Um, but I am going to say this it's really incredible that those actual screenshots, not from a leak, not from Johnny Two Tone, who gave it to me around the corner after I slipped him an envelope. This is actually, hey, when Ninja Theory, check this out. There's going to be this very detailed photo mode. Boom. Four, four screeners for you. Nobody talks about it at all. I Again, I don't watch IG IGN. Who? Uh, yeah, IG who? Yeah, well, you know, you, they, they say you can't spell <laughs> ignorant with IGN, so there you go. Um, I fixed it. Yay, no more echo. Okay, good. Excellent. Um, listen, at the end of the day, folks, I'm super excited for Ninja Theory's next Masterclass title. Uh, what you're seeing here is running on an Xbox Series X that has been confirmed. Uh, they Ooh. are still working on Project Mara, which is their horror-inspired uh, game. Um, I don't know. I, I, now, I, I am hearing an echo. I, it sounds pretty bad, actually. That might be you, Sir X Man. Hold on a second. Let me just see. Um, yeah, I don't know. It might it might be you, Louie? Because I hear a little bit of an echo as well. Yeah. All right. So it's fixed. There you go. Uh, listen. At the end of the day, folks, I don't understand why no one is talking about this. It's why I wanted to open today's show with it. I think it's worthy of a conversation. Uh, this game is releasing in two months. It is on the Hellblade to- thing, real quick. So. We know it's going to look gorgeous on the Series X. I know you don't do PC. Can, if it looks good on the Series X, can you imagine how much good it's going to look on a PC? It's probably going to look ridiculous. Um, <laughs> you know, if, if they if they give the uh, uh, PC players, which we know that they're very talented and have to get the, the the best and the most out of their 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 rigs, then it's going to be pretty cool. It could be the prettiest game of all time, dude. It could very on well both, be on the both consoles and uh, PC, man. Man. Oh. Real quick, uh, Simon Brandy, a uh, friend is always here in the chat. He asked a question. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to tackle this or not. This, uh, this is pretty interesting. He says, you say all of this, Boom, but will Xbox hold on to Hellblade 2? Because if we see a superior version on PlayStation 5 Pro, 
Phil Spencer better go into hiding. Um, I mean, you're not wrong. Obviously, this is a first-party game. It probably taking advantage of the Xbox Series X and S hardware. Uh, is it going to look better on PC? Potentially, because it's the PC version. Uh, as we know, the PC version usually runs all the bells and whistles as long as your rig can handle it. Um, I don't see... And again, this is... These are the questions. It's a fair question. I don't think he's being facetious at all. Um, these are the questions that are going to continue to wreak their ugly head because Xbox is putting games onto other services, meaning they're on PlayStation, they're on Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch got two, PlayStation got four. Obviously, there's a market for it because Sea of Thieves was number one in three out of the ten spots in Europe, two out of the ten spots in the U.S., and in other countries as well, thanks to a report from BGC that confirmed that. Um, do I think that this game is going to be on PlayStation? I do not. Nope. I think I think that uh, if you look again, if you're asking these questions, you have every freaking right to do it. Uh, as an Xbox only person, if you are. This, you know, you have a uh, like, like for instance, if you feel disappointed in games going over, I'm an OG, so I understand how you feel. Now, like I felt about digital versus physical, I'm I eventually was weaned into digital because physical a takes up a lot of space and b it's it's where the market is going, right? So I had to adapt. Um, will I adapt to Halo on PlayStation? I'm sorry, I will not. Uh, and I will, I will, I will read them the riot act when, when, and if that happens. I don't think it's going to. I think that they saw the outrage. They understand that they could damage the brand, diluting the brand by putting all of your stuff everywhere else. And imagine if it looks better. And look what happened. With, look what happened with Pentiment. Pentiment was running at 120 frames on the PS5 and 60 frames on the Series X. Had that happen. You can say lazy devs. You can say whatever you want to say, but you know something. You'd be in your right to give them to read them the riot act, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't fight you on it as long as you were, uh, you know, polite and you know, and not, not disrespectful. Then I could be on your team. Um, Josh Sawyer had to know that this was happening, and he said it was a bug, and then they fixed it. It's running at 120 frames, but look at all the bad PR that came with that, right? So. Let yeah, me clear I, this up for everyone on the Hellblade going to play, oh, PlayStation. It's not going to happen because when the original Hellblade came out, it barely sold on the PlayStation at the time. Yeah, so, yeah. so for these people that might be out there cap and say, yeah, we're going to get Hellblade over here. You didn't play the first one. Yeah. So why would it, more people played on the Xbox when Hellblade 1 came to Xbox than they did on PlayStation? So that's a sign right there, just like baseball. Six to one over here. You don't buy good games that come out for you. And that's a fact. Really, really okay. quick, really quick, let me mention something, Mr. Boomstick, because yeah. I, I went searching for the screenshots, and it's been mentioned by a couple of websites, of course. We don't see IGN. I mean, I don't see IGN. It probably will be there, but I see Game Informer did talk about it. True Achievements did talk about it. BG Charts to talk about it. Um, what was the other one? Uh, BGC Video Game Chronicles talked yeah. about it. But yeah, it's it's. But I don't see IGN talking about it. But here's, here, no? here's where it's a bit of a conundrum, folks. A bit of a head scratcher, oh, yeah. if you will. Um, four websites, one of which is one of my favorites, VGC. I mean, I, I make no qualms about that. I, I I like what they do over there. Andy Robinson doesn't know who I am. I'm a big fan of Andy. I'm a big fan of his writers. I like VGC a lot. Um, True Achievements, well, that's not surprising. They're an Xbox site. They should talk about it. Um, the other two, you know, th th that's four. How, how many how many websites are there? Well, there's quite a, but, quite a bunch of them. But, but here's the thing that gets me, though, all right? They're talking about the photo mode, right? And look how beautiful it looks. They mention it, right? But when you go down and read about it, it says... Hey, it's, it is also confirmed that the game will receive physical release. What does the photo mode have to do with the game not getting a physical release? I mean, for years. Ugh. See? 
That's what agitates me. This is why I'm tired of reading all these sites because, for God's sakes, talk positive about the thing. Oh. Don't drop like a negative news in there for the heck I, of it. Uh, can uh. I add context to that? Because what's interesting to me is when you see this, this is the nitpicking that's quite annoying. Yep. Um, I don't know about you folks, but if I recall the news correctly, Alan Wake 2, Game of the Universe, for a lot of people, <laughs> didn't get a physical release either. It released for digital only. It was in the Game of the Year talk on multiple places, not outside of just Keeley. Um, I fell off on it because I hated it. And when I tell you, I absolutely hated those instances in those rooms with those stupid boards like i just wanted to play a resident evil style alan wake like alan wake one and i didn't get it and those boards were stupid um i thought it it, it really slowed down the game for me and i didn't finish it now i will i finish it yes i will definitely finish it but those again no physical release of those. And did anyone take it out of the game of the year conversation? No. Nope. They did not. So the fact that they bring it up is just that, well, Xbox can't do anything right because it's Xbox. But if this was Sony, you would have seen in that same sentence, this is brilliant not to put this on physical because, well, you know, you can buy it digital. Again, yeah. no, double double standards, pretty ridiculous stuff. Can here. I explain physical? Physical ain't nothing but a digital code now. You still have to have internet to have these physical games. There's no way around it. Yeah. I mean, listen, shout out to Elijah Vasquez. Welcome back, brother. Nice to see you. He says, uh, LOL, boom. It wasn't stupid. It was a detective like a great game. Listen, brother, if you dug it, Congratulations, you got your money's worth. Um, I wanted an Alan Wake like one. Uh, and it, it was too much like True Detective, even though those are great series. That's not what I wanted Alan Wake. And, and again, I, the action sequences are freaking amazing. The going and, and changing things on the fly, a, 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 amazing. In those rooms, I got to the point where, I, and, and obviously I can't be the only one that didn't like it. Like, my brother hated it. And he was, uh, me, you know what I was doing? I was just pressing the button and, and spamming the button for wherever it stuck. And I just moved on just to complete the puzzle. Like, I didn't even it's care. Like, it's like the random luck in control that you, you get to, like, that hotel and you have to flick the, yeah, the, the yes. light switch three times. Yeah, and you're like, I don't want to fucking do Why? <laughs> but anyway. I mean, listen. It, it's okay. It's, 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 it has lore. But, yeah. Anyway. If, 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 you, if you dug that true detective aspect... That's awesome. Uh, I unfortunately did not, uh, and that's okay. That that is okay. We can live in the same world, shake hands, and still hang out, even though you liked it and I didn't. Nah, that's perfectly fine. Uh, and you know, it's funny. Bold Alpha Wolf says, Bo "Boom was a policeman. You think he'd like? He'd be into that? You know something? You might be onto policeman. something there. But you know what? I did that for twenty-one years, and I did do detective work. I did do investigative stuff." Uh, especially in like domestic violence and things, and that's great. And and I really cared about what I did because you, I'm serving the people, right? That's what I swore in to do. In my games, I, I don't want to do that. I I don't. I want to shoot creatures and keep it moving. That's what I want to do. I don't want real life to mold itself into. <laughs> into you want game. destruction and mayhem. That's yeah, what you that's want. fine. And again, that's it, it is what it is. Listen, let me let me catch up on these two super chats in here. First one, Highlander 001, generous friend of the program. Welcome back, kind sir. He drops a very generous two five dollar super chat. And yeah, this is. Uh, we're going to talk about this. I think towards the end of the week. Uh, Sony has stopped making PlayStation VR 2.0. How are they going to make a PS5 Pro? Sony is in trouble financially, and this will be a problem moving forward. Yeah, and what he's talking about is this was reported uh, yesterday by Bloomberg, where they have confirmed that the PlayStation 2, uh, PlayStation uh, VR 2.0, all production on that unit has come to a complete stop. Because they have too many units on shelves and in warehouses. Uh, that is why they switched over the PC. 
those things are 600 bucks. Unless they take a massive loss on them, I don't think they're going to go. I know some PC heads are going to go buy them. I think Kaysante is going to go buy it now because that guy's Mr. VR, right? Um, personally, uh, I didn't buy it because of how they treat their customers. And look what wind up happening. They abandoned it on PS5. No first party stuff. The one studio that actually was making VR games is now closed. That's why I didn't get it. Uh, now, if I, I'm not going to say if I went like say, let's say for instance, I walked into like a five and below, and it was there, I, I, I'd pick it up for five dollars. But I'm not going to pick it up for uh, for six hundred dollars. I'm just not. I'm just I'm not going to do that. Um, Simon Brandy, welcome, brother. Uh, obviously, we had a conversation uh, before. He drops a very generous five pound super chat. So thank you so much for that, Simon. He says, "I can't cap. I buy an Xbox Pro." Uh, we can't ignore GTA 6 unless the next Xbox is early 2026. Not long after GTA 6, it could be bad for Xbox. Uh, kick gummy. Um, well, you know, we're going to get into that because the specs that have been released for the Play- PlayStation 5 Pro, the first report from Tom Henderson of Insider Gaming, uh, the first report put this 33 teleflips machine to be this incredible, capable $800 monster, right? Um, The second report that he put out, which I believe was on Saturday, it it seemed like it wasn't as impressive. Uh, The more, and again, I want this to be clear, folks. I I understand these consoles from a layman's point of view. I am not a, a Colt Eastwood I am not a John Wolf. I am not a Kaysante. These gentlemen know their tech. Uh, I buy the box. I play the box. I understand what's inside the box. And that's why I don't talk about tech like that because I'm not a tech guy. And I'm certainly not going to pretend to be one. I can go based on what other people are saying. And people like Colt Eastwood, people like Hazardor Gaming are putting tweets out there that let us know, at least people like myself who understand these hardware specs from a layman's point of view, that it's only a 10% difference in the CPU. And I hear, I keep hearing the words bottleneck city because they're, they're the same chips that are in the PlayStation 5 currently are in the Pro. They're just boosted. Does that mean they're overclocked? But shit, I don't know. But I could tell you one thing Uh-oh. they're going to try and get you for 600 bucks, minimum 600 bucks. Um, and what's interesting. Gamsley is a couple of Mondays. I think it was three Mondays ago that we reported that they took a ten billion dollar bath on their stock price because they fell short of selling the PlayStation Five currently. So if you're going to put out a pro this holiday, no games. Remember, their their their, their uh, uh, investors meeting. Let us all know that they do not have a sequel AAA banger coming out minimum until March of 2025. So they're going to release this console and not have any bangers to show it off, not even third-party bangers. That makes no sense. And they're going to try and charge you. Folks, listen, this is Sony, Gamsley. We, you cannot be like, oh, no, they're going to take a loss because I'm a PlayStation player. That's not the way it works. They're losing money right now. They're bleeding money right now. So, yes, are people going to go out and buy it? I would imagine it's going to sell out like hotcakes, especially if you're a scalper. Get ready, scalpers, because they're going to have warehouses full of this shit. Let's talk about it. Uh, Did you get a chance to see the three reports from uh, um, uh, Tom uh, Henderson of Insider Gaming? And what what do you thought on the specs? Because every time we've heard about this, the specs seem to get less and less impressive. Yeah, it, it's crazy what time and um, games does, right? Like a solid ecosystem or whatever. It's it, it's funny how it works. Uh, if you said that a place. <laughs> PlayStation 3 exists, right? We saw how that happened, right? We saw that come out almost dud because the price was it it was PS3, right? That had like a 599 version. Am 599, I? yep. Yeah. We saw that happen, right? Um the architecture was pretty bogus. I mean, I mean very powerful, but 
nobody knew how to use it. They tried to go that route. Um, and it, it kicked them in the ass. But um, as everything gets close architecturally to PCs and they're closer to gather, uh, it's easier to, let's say, develop for a PC as it is a PlayStation as it is to an Xbox. Um, the closer that got, the more games PlayStation kind of had under their belt are Uncharted, God of Wars, all that stuff. They really, um, the, the blunder of the Xbox One really hurt Xbox to a, a crazy degree. We're still feeling the ramifications of that. Um, and now it's just a different time. People spend money differently. People look at power differently. People look at upgrades differently uh, to phones, to TVs, to whatever the hell. Um, if this comes out at six ninety nine and it runs, I don't know, GTA at 60 and it has a 30 FPS mode as well, um, and if, you, if it comes out and your Final Fantasy VII runs really well and your whatever third-party deal comes out or they nail for this year, because I, I, th I think they even said that they probably have third-party exclusives coming out, maybe a first-party exclusive coming out this year um you know they're smart enough they just want to be on top of the uh they want to hold their grip on everybody that's biased right now they already have bias they already have the media they already have the majority of the fans they're really counting on those people that have a ps4 and have an xbox one to look at G and have GTA 5 and that's all they play, which is a large amount of people, they're really counting on that game, GTA 6, and other games like Final Fantasy, Square Enix, and all those partners. They're really hoping that the people look over and say, yeah, I want to upgrade, and yeah, it looks like PlayStation 5 is the way to go, and they're really hoping that the clerk in front of them or the person in front of them sells them an Xbox, uh, a PlayStation 5 Pro, and I don't know, Boom, I think they're going to do it because I think they're trained like Apple users right now. They're trained like You're not spoiled wrong. brats. You know, they're yeah. trained like spoiled brats at this point. They're going to go there, and who cares? Like, if it runs GTA 6 better, they're going to pick it up. If it, you know, and again, PS4 owners, Xbox One owners, tons that didn't buy yet. I think they're really looking at that group and being like, how do we pull those dudes in? And when they want to jump ship to our platform or Xbox platform, we're going to have the best and powerful list console. And it doesn't even freaking matter uh, if it's $599, $699. Times have changed, guys. Uh, our money has diminished. Like our value, the dollars gone like down and whatever. Value, uh, inflation, all that stuff. Uh, I don't know. It... We're we're gonna we're about to see, but just like Apple fanboys, PlayStation fanboys are trained just like those suckers. Um, and uh, PS VR two sucks. You suck, Sony. I hate. Um, you. I mean, listen. You, you, make look, make some Vita games or something. There, there, there's a hardcore audience in every uh in, in every platform, right? There's a hardcore Nintendo fans, hardcore Sony fans, hardcore Xbox fans. Uh, I like to consider everyone here. By the way, we're almost at 800 people. Holy shit, that's crazy. Yeah, if you are finding coming, the channel guys. for the first time, for some reason or another, folks, I hate to keep bringing this up, but I got to reach out to, to YouTube. We are not getting any new subs. This is the craziest thing. I've actually had people say, boom, I just subbed your channel, and we're going backwards. I, I don't understand how it is. Maybe I feel, I, I've fallen off as a, as a host. I, I can't figure it out, but I'm not nah, the only man. one at this, ha that's having this problem. Um, listen, uh, you, YouTube, if you're listening, what, what the H is going on? Uh, I do, I stream 20, 20 streams minimum a month. How am I not getting new subs? This is, and this happened a couple of years ago where I was getting, I was losing subs and they're not bots folks. They're actually humans. I can't figure it out. But again, if you're finding the channel for the first time, I've seen a lot of new names here, please consider subscribing. And of course, hit the bell icon so you, have, you know every time I go live, I go live Monday through Friday, uh, five days a week, all great panels, all great conversation. And we don't hate monger or use clickbait to get you in and to check out the show. The, the title is what the title is, and we always have great conversations, and we're having one right now. Yeah. Um, um, sorry, yeah. Boom. If, if I, just, I just want to address the chat a little bit. Like, I'm not – <laughs> let me be clear. I, I just think it's a different time 
in this industry and in electronics in general, different ecosystems, different economy, it's just different nowadays. I think that people are just trained more to be ex like more accepting of upgrades, no matter how much they cost. Um, and there's more, it, it's more and more accessible. There's payment plans. There's all this type of stuff. I think people just don't look at the price as, as long as it plays their games really well. Um, they don't care. And PlayStation has that fan base now or that fanfare that, that I associate Apple. It's the only example I have, but that's, that's who I associate with. Like Apple has really hardcore fans and they buy phones every freaking year. And it's, it's crazy, right? Um, and yes, the Series S is a powerful thing, right? So people that want to even get a Series X, uh, S uh, for really cheap to play uh, GTA, it depends who the markets uh, marketing goes to. If it's PlayStation, those suckers are going to fly off the, uh, the, the shelves. And even if people are going from the Xbox One to an Xbox Series S and they walk in there and the clerk says, why are you buying an S? Look at, <laughs> look at this thing that's so much more powerful and it has Spider-Man as well. Oh, and Final Fantasy VII. Oh, and this and this and this. Like, they're just... It's so biased out there right now towards PlayStation. I don't think they're going to have a problem selling it. That's all. That's I, all I'm saying. I I, no, I love, it, I love Xbox. Obviously, no, I, I, well, of course you. Do. That's why you're on Xbox podcast, dude. Uh, listen, folks. He's entitled to his opinion. He he he. I I think I understand exactly what Gams he's talking about. For me personally, my slight pushback is the casual audience that is the majority and i want to say that the casual mm -hmm. audience and i'm i'm being a little generous here so hear me out but if i were to break it down the casual for playstation not for xbox for playstation uh, uh and the two audiences where you you have people that will go buy a 700 dollar pro they they will go out and buy it now do i think it's going to be 7 and that's a that's a big ask Six six ninety nine, I think, is a big ask. It's Sony, so it wouldn't surprise me. Do I see five ninety nine? I do. Do I see potentially mm -hmm. six forty nine? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That's just my take on it. Um, but I the agree. casual audience versus the hardcore. Now, folks, I'm being generous here. I would say that the casuals hold at least minimum. 85% of the PlayStation 5 market. It's the cool system. It's the in system. It's the one that their friends have, and they're going to go buy the console they friend that where, where their friends play. They've done it. They've been they've done it on the PlayStation 4. They probably did it on the PlayStation 3. And if they're old enough, they did it on the PlayStation 2. Right? That's not surprising. I'd say about 15%. And, and, and that's being generous because we all know that. Our hardcore audience, Xbox, Nintendo, and Sony, are probably around twelve percent. If you mm -hmm. really, if you want to be generous, ten to twelve percent of the, of the hardcore market uh, for either of the platforms. To ask your, unless there's some incredible trade-in plan, where you're trading in your current PlayStation Five, whether it's the slim, whether it's the fat model. Uh, whether it's the one with the drive or the one without, and you're getting like 450, you know, 400, 450 bucks for it, and you only have to upgrade a couple of hundred bucks, I can then see people doing that. That that makes perfect sense at that point because obviously you're not spending $700 plus tax before you even get a game, right? Um, I still think that every time, again, we're going to go over some of the numbers, and again, I'm not a tech guy. I want that to be clear. I'm going on tweets that I of people that I trust that I, I would imagine that you trust as well. But let's let's bring in Sir X Men and let's talk about this PlayStation Five Pro again. There were three reports: one on Friday, one on Saturday, one today. All by Tom Henderson of Insider Gaming. Let's let's call a spade a spade. Tom uh, has a lot of connections in the industry. No one here, at least I'm certainly not, suggesting that Tom's information is incorrect. He put it out there. He's putting his name on the line. He usually doesn't get it wrong. Um, but the more that we hear about it, the less impressed I am. 
What are your thoughts on the PlayStation 5 Pro? Is this going to be a $700 device? And do you actually believe the numbers that are been attached with this you know, leak? You mean the 33 terabytes? The teraflips. Flare flip? No, I don't believe that crap. That's next in specs, dude. There's, there's no way. If they're going to make that kind of console at this time, it's going to be way more than $700. You, you can't do it with that much specs. When this gen just started three, four years ago. You know, that's just, that's like a $3,000 PC. Indeed. You know, so that, 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 that's, that's uncalculable. You know, and there's no way Sony's going to take that loss for that much hardware they're putting in their console. You know how big a money loss that would be if they did that? Did they're not, they do not have the money to soak up that kind of loss for a six or $700 console. So if this is true, that's going to be a $1,200 console, dude. If it's true. If it's true, yes, of course. You know, so I don't believe they advanced that specs that high because I say this next gen. So everybody stop falling for the okie doke out there to push a Sony narrative to say we're going to be that powerful. We're going to be this and that. Because in the mindset of people hearing this right now, they're going to think that. And then they're going to come out and say, we can run on the new 10K TVs that are coming out. Just like AK. So don't fall for the crap. I'm done. Move on. No, I mean, listen, it's short and sweet. That perfect, that's perfectly fine. You know, that's uh, how I do it. Listen, it's, it's, and we, we love you for it. Uh, listen, before we bring in Crazy Lou Gaming, so I, like I said, I have a couple of tweets of people that I respect that I trust, uh, and I'm reading verbatim. I'm not adding anything to it. Uh, I will read you all of them so you kind of get a gist of what I'm trying to put down. Again, I'll tell you this right now. I'm not buying a pro. Uh, I, I I cannot justify. Well, this is what I are currently saving for a home. I can't justify a seven hundred dollar purchase for a system that I barely turn on. Like I barely turn on my PlayStation Five. Not that it's a, a crappy system. It's not. It's it's really good. I love the Dual Sense, but I get it for for their first party games, and that is it. I don't play anything else on it. That's all I get it for. So I have a, a tweet here from Psychonauts, who is probably in the chat. Obviously, if you don't know who he is, he's well, you know, he, he consistently works with Mav and Pong Soul and Fuzzy Belvedere on the Mav Speculation Network. And I think he's well versed in the in the tech space. He says this in a tweet. Um, let's see. Or I actually was responding to the uh, uh, vid videocards.com, who, who obviously reported on the leak after Tom Anderson did. And he says this, and I'm reading verbatim from his tweet. So the PS5 Pro CPU overclocked is 0 0.05 faster than the Xbox Series X. The Series X has DirectX. Uh, um, uh, uh, okay, let me. I'm sorry. The Series X has Direct Machine Learning na uh, native on its hardware already. This is why the Xbox is not working on a mid-gen refresh. Also. The Pro GPU specs could be bloated because of the NPU slash AI chip. I'll wait for final hardware specs. And he has two uh, pictures here. And I'm going to read it verbatim, folks. So, again, so we're all on the same page and you're understanding where I'm coming from. He says the Xbox Series X is powered by a custom 7 nanometer AMD Zen 2 CPU with eight cores running at a normal 3.8 gigahertz or when it's simultaneously multi-threading SMT is used at 3.6 rather than the 3.8. His second picture is, of course, the, uh, direct machine learning. Xbox Series X supports machine learning for games with direct ML, a, a component of direct X. Direct ML leverages unprecedented hardware performance in a console benefiting from over 24 T-flops of 16-bit float performance and over 97 tops trillion operating per second of 4-bit integrate 
performance on Xbox Series X. And again, a lot of that shit went over my head, but I'm just reading verbatim. So let me pull up another tweet from Colt Eastwood. I have Colts here, and this is what Colt had to say. Now, look, folks, whether you like him, which I do, I don't even dare say I love Colt. That is a good dude, in my opinion, and we're good friends. Got a chance to meet him and his and his uh, uh, his wife during E3 2019. I really do hope we get a chance to hang out once again. Hopefully, this, whatever you call it, it's not E3. Uh, Colt Eastwood, who is a tech dude, like that guy knows his numbers. He says this, folks. PS5 Pro CPU is identical to the base PlayStation 5, but with a 10% boost. Hope you enjoyed a few days of bragging teraflops. Perfect upgrade if it's around 600 or less. There you go. He's, he was responding to uh, Tom Henderson's report, and he actually does a, uh, uh, a follow-up to that. And he confirms that the PlayStation 5 Pro, if you just heard me say, the Xbox Series X has 3.8 gigahertz when it's running at its best and its peak performance. Well, the PlayStation 5 Pro is running, this is this is the $600 or higher device, 3.85. So again, confirming what Psychonaut said, that it's 0 0.05 better than the, uh, the Series X because it's overclocked. I don't know so much about that. Uh, so, I mean, again, I, I, I have some more here. If you, if, you, if you folks want to hear, and this is someone, again, I, I think you know him. I trust him. I love his work. Hazador Gaming. He says, if Tom Henderson's report of the PlayStation 5 Pro specs is accurate, then Microsoft slash Xbox made the right decision to skip the mid-gen upgrade. Current gen consoles with the same CPU will always target the for most developers. And we've heard people talk about bottleneck central because they're running the same CPUs. I, I don't know if this is a is a great idea for Sony. I, I I just honestly don't. I'm certainly not buying it. People in the chat, we got over 800 people here. Throw a one in the chat if you're buying. Throw a two in the chat if you're not. And let's bring in uh, Crazy Lou Gaming. Crazy, I, I read it. I got the I, again that we do evidence based conversation here. You heard from some of the people that we all trust, that we all go to for information. What are your thoughts on the leaked specs and the pricing potentially of the PS5 Pro? Oh man, we're still talking about teraflops and all this stuff. <laughs> my God, we're still bringing this up. But here's here's my thing about all this, right? I mean, I'll tell you from my experience. This is my personal experience when I was buying these consoles, right, for, for upgrading to next gen. I remember I was talking with the guys, and this is the idea we had. I mean, I'm probably wrong, but this is basically the idea we had about these consoles. Um, basically, I remember when I was going to buy this console, I wouldn't have any more to select between quality or performance. I, I basically thought. And this is all in my head. I mean, I, I was convinced that these consoles were just going to give us 4K native, 60 FPS all the time. That's that's what I thought. I thought, okay, I'm going to buy a game that's going to be 4K native, HDR, all the cool stuff. I was going to have that and 60 FPS all the time. That's that's basically what I was thinking about when I was buying these consoles. Yet, we're, what, we're like four years into it now? Four years into this gen. Okay, yes, uh, four, four years come November. It came out, oh. uh, both consoles released in uh, 2020. Exactly. Four years into this generation, you know, and basically not all the games, not all of them. I'm saying there's probably two or three or some that do give me that 4K native 60 FPS right then and there. But, the, like, I think it, Xbox is right on skipping a refresh because why why would we need a refresh if the devs have not actually got got to get the full advantage of these consoles i mean they have not dropped into these resources they have not used the full advantage they have not you know used everything they had to use for these consoles they have not done it yet which we're still waiting on that game that can come out and say okay we're using every every little thing on this console everything that that has it we're using everything we're going all out we're going to use all the power it has and see how it goes. We still, you know, like I said, there are probably some games that have it, probably. 
but not all the games like we have been offered with these costs we, they said okay we're going to deliver all this stuff for you I, and i remember they also said we're going to give us 8k we're going to have 8k on these consoles did we get 8k just one little indie game got 8k and that was on the ps5 this one little indie game but other than that did we get it oh there's so, only one game they gave that the only doom. one game doom doom, doom actually gave it mm. yeah doom I've, is 4k 60. Oh, 4K60? Oh, yeah. 4K60. I'm talking about 8K now, though. Like the 8K. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember? Every, I mean, this console. Remember. It, it's on you the remember, Sony box. It's all these boxes. It's 8K, 8K. I was like, yeah, this is going to be 8K. So I was like, man, this should run 4K60 easily. Yeah, it should run it, but we didn't get it. So with this PS5 Pro coming out, I mean, if it's confirmed 100% that this is everything it has, they have to, they have to like, show me that is actually a big pro that you say, okay, okay, let me go buy it because this actually delivers what it's got to deliver. This actually delivers what's 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 on the box, what it says and the specs and everything. Because really, I don't, I don't know, because like I said, devs haven't taken full advantage of the tech yet, but maybe so later on they will. But let's see what happens. Let's see what happens on the dev side of things. But wasting my money now on that? Nope. I'd rather wait. By the way, look, at the end of the day, I think what's going to be incredibly telling is what we open the show with, right? Like, I know there's a lot of people that are like, well, neither of the consoles have really shown us what next gen is. Now, some people are fight you on, you know, on, on like God of War Ragnarok. God of War Ragnarok looked amazing. Let's call a spade a spade. It looks phenomenal. But so did a lot of uh, uh, Xbox games as well. I think where we're going to see finally the real pushing of the envelope, if you will, is what we opened the show with. And that's Hellblade 2. Like we, we, what we are witnessing and what you listen, we saw, you saw with your own eyes what the game looks like. I'm, I'm not making this shit up. Those screens weren't docked, you know, in any way. Those were the official screeners dropped by Ninja Theory. That's running on a Series X. That has been confirmed. When we saw the game running, when we saw actual fighting, everyone everyone has been asking for, right? We wanted to see the combat. That was running on the Xbox Series X. That was confirmed. That looked bananas. And I think that was one of the first games we can all say with, with authority that that is the step in the next-gen direction that, we're, that we want. Now, we're, I don't know if, if, again, shout out to Tom Henderson does not know who I am, which is perfectly fine. He even said in his second article, he doesn't know if it makes sense for Sony to release a console this holiday with no game to show off the power of this console. Like, I'm sure there's going to be some sort of an, uh, a boost to your current games. But I normally, folks, if, if we're being kind of fair here, and we're going to take a bit of a time jump, gentlemen, to when the Xbox One X was released, right? What did Microsoft do with that console? They didn't release it with any, you know, any software to show off the hardware. And they were railroaded by the gaming media. I'm kind of wondering if this comes to fruition, if the pro is real, and we all believe that it is, and they do release it this holiday or this fall, probably around November, I would imagine. And there is no game released with it to show off the power. Is the gaming media going to give Sony a big L? No, I don't think that they will. They'll be like, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. I'll take three. Um, I, the I, super I don't know. remaster of The Last of Us coming to the PS4 Ive Pro. I mean, yeah, that, that, you're not wrong. I mean, they're, they're, I mean, they're, they're, apparently they're remaking a lot of their older stuff. They're re, re, remaking the Nathan Drake trilogy. They're remaking the God of the War. The original trilogy. God of War yeah. series. Yeah, yeah that's worth buying. I mean, if it's 40 bucks, maybe. Uh, right. I don't know if I, I, I spent 70 bucks on it, but it, it had to show me that it was really good. I, I don't know, you know, what this console is going to be, but if they don't have the one game, it really shows this off when your old hardware, and I mean, I'm not being facetious, folks. The old Xbox Series X launch title 
gives you a Hellblade in May. We get an Indiana Jones potentially in December. We get an Avowed sometime in, I don't know, what, fall, October, November, possibly. And, you know, we still think, and again, maybe it's just me that says that. I got um, a question for you on this topic, sure. Bone, if you yeah. don't mind real quick. Yeah. If they had a, did that Spider-Man multiplayer and said it was going to launch when the PS5 Pro come out, I would have bought it. you think that would have been a seller? Yeah, I would have bought it. But then I would have spent the seven hundred dollars because I'm a Spider Man apologist. See? I love Spider Man. I love the films. I love the uh, the animated one that came out. That is, we've said we've had two parts. I cannot wait for uh, the continuation of Miles' story. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Marvel. I'm a Marvel stan. I I would have. If you told me, hey, boom, FYI, you can play this new Spider Man multiplayer on your new pl PlayStation Five Pro in I all this glory. I'll take it right now. Not even, not even thinking twice because I love Spider-Man. And see, um, this is where I tell you Sony is missing the marks. There's some bad management over there that don't know what they're doing. They don't. They don't understand gamers. That's the same uh, problem well, I mean, they, they, well, something's going on because Hiroki Totoki is running the show, and it's no longer Jim Ryan because he's fired, and it's not Herman Holtz who should have taken over. I don't know how much Herman's got left in the tank, to be honest with you, because they are <laughs> effing up. I'm sorry. They're losing money. They're closing studios. They're canceling games. And they're all doing yeah. it for cost-cutting um, issues that they had. I mean, look, they just stopped. That's a production. deep cost-cutting, boom. Yeah, they have to. They're bleeding, they're bleeding money. Uh, they fell short of their, uh, of their, of their uh, quota for the PlayStation 5. I don't understand if they expect a six or seven hundred dollar PlayStation Pro is going to sell. It's going to sell to the hardcore for sure. Wow, That's they could it. be the Kmart of gaming if they keep this up. I don't know. <laughs> I, it, it, it's again, this we're not being facetious, folks. We're not we're not poking fun at Sony. I don't want Sony it, to go it, nowhere. It, I just want it, them to do better. Well, they they need to do better by treating their fans better and not price gouging us. We Which both agree do. on that one. Um, let me see. Let me catch up on these super chats. First of all, we have a new channel member, El Monte, in the chat. Brother, that's very kind of you to join the channel. Thank you so much for that. And he also drops a very generous $5 super chat. And he says this. This could be the one SDK that they give to developers. You know that the developers' ver of uh, versions is always more powerful. Yes, and I said that. And I actually got a little push, a little bit of a pushback from people when I actually said publicly, I, I think that these are the specs for the dev kits because the dev kits are always higher specs. And people are like, no, boom, that's just if, if Tom is saying it, then that's what it is. Oh, OK, I'm not going to fight you. I mean, w w we'll yeah, see in time. Point. I think I might believe you on that. That That's like, yeah. I, I, I'm in agreement with you. Could be could be the dev kits and that's how he gets that's how he's getting his information um and that's always iffy and that's always weird so yeah it'll be interesting to find out he does have a great great track record so we'll see yeah the yeah. xbox series development for the series x was 24 teraflops so it's always either doubled or tripled of what the the console runs yeah it's always been that way yeah, for every dev kit. So, I, again, take it for what it's worth. This is leaked from a source that is trusted, according to Tom uh, Tom Henderson. Uh, if he says so, I'm not going to fight him on it. Okay, Tom, that's what you're saying. I'll continue to read your stuff. Uh, do I believe it? <sighs> not so much. Um, until we get an official announcement from Sony. Look, I I'll say this, folks. Um, if there's one takeaway from 2024 i think that the leaked this that and the third has worn out its welcome with the gaming community and i and i and i'm not I, and that's all sides uh as a matter of fact they just uh leaked the uh, they have there's apparently there's a nintendo direct and i gotta be honest with you if that comes to fruition whole that's like an e3 like that it, it's i think they have for for april 8th i think it is and you, you'll see it online. It's ridiculous, the games that are on there. I'm like, holy, I'll buy every one of these. All they got to do is show me Star Fox, boom, and I'm getting a Switch. 
<laughs> yeah, that's oh, what we said uh, with the Wii U uh, Star Fox. <laughs> we're like, no, I don't yeah, want no, that no. shit. We, we don't want. We don't get that out of my one. face. Yeah, no, no, I, I didn't like that one. Um, Crazy Lou Gaming. Uh, any anything on? Uh, I'll go to you on this uh, again. As you know, we, this is normally like a ninety-minute show, so we, we, we got we got a few more things to discuss over here. I got to catch up on some super chats, but do you feel the same way about these potentially these leaked stats being? actual real world stats for the because if they are this is an 800 dollars device hmm. if they're overclocked and this these numbers are the dev kits then i can still see a 600 dollars device where do you kind of fall with this i'll i'll be honest with you i'll wait till sony confirms this and sony actually says it because again i don't want to be that guy that runs into rumors and you know how what happened a couple months ago that everybody was going chaotic with all these rumors and nuts and all that stuff like i said you know i'd rather wait till sony goes out there and confirms it so that way we know more about the device after they confirm it of course we can sit here and talk about its dissection the specs and everything about it because at the end of the day, if this is just rumor talk and it's not been confirmed by the company, we're going to have to wait. We have to wait till they confirm and see what are they going to bring to the table. Because that's one thing. They can talk about it. They can show us. They can say, okay, this console can do this. It can outperform this. But at the end of the day, can it actually bring that to the table? Because like I said, when I was doing the upgrades on the old console, from the from the Xbox One to the Series X, you know, I actually was a guy that actually thought in my head, I'm, I'm gonna have all games 4K native, HDR and all that stuff, 60, but I didn't get it. I didn't get it. So the question is, would it deliver on what it's talking about? That's the question we're gonna have to wait and see when it comes out. And of course, let's wait till Sony um, confirms it 100%. This is the console. But yeah, you just have to wait. Interesting. My follow up uh, to that, real quick, is sure, go ahead, right? Can they brother. make this new version quieter than a PlayStation? <laughs> I, you know, they have cooling Probably issues not. still. So it's uh, like, can you make it cooler for all this power you're putting in there? Because that's going to be a big heat source. So I would not buy it first day i would not because you need to make sure they they've resolved some of these issues because well, i don't need sir. a sister louder than my tv <laughs> when i'm trying to play a sir, game when sir x-men that's why they're gonna release it in december so it could warm your house oh, oh <laughs> cook some marshmallows baby get that going put some crackers uh, remember, on it it's remember when they called the playstation the roach yeah. motel <laughs> <laughs> oh lord oh, yeah, yeah. Lord. we're getting spicy with this oh that that's the thing i think what like i said we gotta wait till they confirm and let's wait and see what, what's up with that console because man from specs it sounds right. beautiful everything is all yeah. beautiful but at the end of the day is this real mm -hmm. is it gonna uh, is it actually gonna outperform are we actually gonna get our games always at 4k native 60 are they rushing no. it out to market yeah. without testing uh that's, yeah, that, I, see, that's a good question that that's an excellent yeah. question uh, i mean so and you I mean, know how did, sony is with warranties boom they're yeah, not kind to people we did hear a couple of years ago look to be fair right they, they the, the more powerful consoles the series x right that that's a fact uh yeah, and we it's have quiet that, yeah and, it's quiet but you know. we did hear a couple of years ago that they released the playstation 5 and it what they they were they were bamboozled by the tech for for Xbox, and they were going to release a pro version. How long has this been in development? I want to say at least eighteen months. It could be two years, and that means that the the year two of the PlayStation Five, they were already doing you know doing work on a pro. Um, I mean, listen, if if you got the money and you want a better playstation 5 you, you absolutely should get this day one i'm not buying it because i don't i don't play my playstation my playstation 5 right now is fine find the way it is i don't, I don't need to upgrade there's nothing mm. out there that i that, that makes me first of all i grand theft auto 6 i'm playing on an xbox yeah. um and that's that's the other thing i, I before we get on out of here i, I do want to want to talk about that for a second because um you know what 
before I get to that, gentlemen, let, let me catch up on Super Chats, and then we will get to that. This is a bit, a bit of a bonus topic. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> Redful Sean drops a very generous 10 dollar super chat dreadful thank you so much for the generosity brother he says this discussing film on x just posted that all eight spider-man films are re-releasing in theaters sony is broke and disney will be calling that uh calling that for the spider-man movie right back soon yeah well if sony ever gets sold uh let's say for instance apple bought them for you know just for shits and giggles those rights would revert immediately back to disney uh they they're not they're non-transferable so if sony gets bought by anybody tencent amazon wherever spider-man rights go right back to disney and that would be kind of dope uh to be honest with you um he also goes on to say uh the movie rights back soon spider-man 2018 coming to xbox in two to three years or sooner i mean i've been saying that people always people always you know laugh at me i boom you just a you know, you're just a bot. You're an idiot. It's fine. Um, I, I'll, I, I don't mind taking an L. If we get it wrong, you got to come out there and be a man and you know say you got an L. I, I think that there is a Hiroki Totoki is a businessman. He's not a console warrior. He doesn't give a shit about bylines and and, and and console war rhetoric. He doesn't care. He wants to make money. They're bleeding money. They're, this is the perfect example. They're bleeding. Money. They're re-releasing the eight Spider-Man films in theaters. Is anyone actually going to go see that? I, I I got I got the the best versions on disc. I can go watch on my TV. I'm not going to a a movie theater to watch that. Especially Spider Man Two of the second one with, uh, with Andrew Garfield. Loved the first one. Hated the second one. Spider Man Three with Toby. Freaking terrible. Absolutely horrendous. And Tom Holland. Well, who doesn't love that kid? All his Spider Man films have been great. Um, that's just me. Let's. <clears throat> Freddie Fox drops a very generous $5 super chat. Freddie, welcome back, brother, and thank you for the generosity. He says if Hellblade 2 was a PlayStation 5 game, the media would be all over those graphics. Hellblade 2 should be praised. This is, will be the first true next generation third person game graphically. I absolutely agree. If this was a PlayStation game, we there would be plastered on every every website would have done it. Um as a matter of fact, c coming in right now, uh, no surprise, but Hi-Fi Rush is getting nines and tens, and it's higher on PlayStation than it is on, on Xbox. Wow! What a revelation. We're going to cover that tomorrow, uh, folks, because I do have a question regarding GTA 6. Um, let's see. Uh, Michael Mooney drops a very generous 10 pound super chat, and he says the difference between PlayStation 5 and the Pro is faster RAM, upgraded power supply, and a new SOC using newer manufacturing nodes, gaining 30 to 40 percent more performance. They should be it, sh they should be under 600 for the digital version. Dude, good on you that you knew all that. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Again, I, I don't trust Sony for anything. Um, if they're not making their money back on the PlayStation 5s now, they're getting very little profit for those consoles being sold. I don't know how a pro gets them right, record profit. I, I don't even know if they could actually break even. But again, we'll, we will certainly see. Uh, Lord Roughness drops a very generous two pound super chat and he says Sony have been making sense all of this gen. Yeah, they've been a little bit out of sorts for sure. We also have another one here by Gamer by Choice. He drops a very generous five dollar super chat. It says games have to be built to use these features or gains will be minimal like last gen. I hope devs start using the tools these systems have available. I mean, that's 100% right. Um, again, if there's no first-party banger for this release of the Pro, how are we going to know and we're going to see all the bells and whistles? I, I, I don't know. But, again, only time is going to tell. But real quick, again, bonus topic here, folks. The last three days, Gamsley, we have kept, I, at least I have kept seeing, that it is widely assumed by the gaming media and, of course, by the, the gaming public, that the marketing rights are Sony's. Now, that has not been announced. And listen, I, I'm not trying to be like a D about it. 
how much do you think those that marketing rights for Grand Theft Auto Six would be? I would say in the in a maybe a billion dollars. Does Sony have that money for the marketing rights? I I honestly don't think so. But you know who does? Xbox. Now I'm not saying mm-hmm. that you're going to get Grand Theft Auto into Game Pass. No. What I'm saying is that. And hear me out, folks. Tell me if this makes. I'm trying to make it make sense for you. If I'm. I got you. If 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 I'm in. Microsoft marketing. And sometimes, folks, look, I'm going to be straight up. I know that they're listening. You need some better. You need some better. Make some trades. Get some better personnel. Get a better quarterback. Get some better running backs in there. Get some wide receivers. Do something. Because sometimes their marketing does not make sense. And I feel that you're a trillion-dollar company. You should have tip of the spear people working for you. And some of the marketing moves that you've made, Xbox, really not that great. So a bit, sometimes a bit of a head scratcher or a conundrum, if you will. Um, I understand Grand Theft Auto marketing rights are going to be a lot of money, but let me paint the picture for the community and, and for you, Gamsley. This year, for the first time since the Xbox 360, Microsoft has Call of Duty marketing rights because, well, they can own it, right? Um, this week, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile releases on the 21st. That has already has clocked in 50 plus million pre-registered players. It's going to basically print money, right? This fall, we have Black Ops uh, Gulf War releasing onto Xbox Game Pass, and they're going to be able to splash whatever that box art is on their consoles, on billboards, on basketball courts, on football end zones, wherever they want to put it, right? If I'm in marketing, just imagine that you go out and you acquire the Grand Theft Auto 6 marketing rights to go in conjunction with your Call of Duty in Game Pass. That sets a Mm -hmm. frenzy to the industry. You would not be able to find a Series S or X on a shelf. Now, would it cost a lot of money? Yes, but you know something? They're Microsoft. They can afford that. Mm-hmm. What, what are your thoughts on that? I, I I like I like how you're thinking. I like I like that. Um, so just to start, uh, PlayStation probably why we're kind of. Uh, already giving them the marketing rights in our heads is probably right. because you know they've had that background before and also yep. they have the player base and they're going to leverage that to get cheaper deals xbox is going to have to overpay do they want to overpay who knows but um here's my tin fo- foil hat theory uh you definitely don't um release well, you you do get that Call of Duty marketing going. You definitely don't do it at the same time as GTA, but you do it before GTA. So you right. get that nice mind share. Uh, everything's coming to Game Pass, this, this, this. Look, at, we already got Diablo. We're freaking firing on all freaking cylinders, right? Call of Duty Mobile's us. You know, Xbox is everywhere. You're plastering everything on Xbox Series S's, right? You're trying your best. Here's my tinfoil hat theory what if they do a uno freaking reverse card and we don't see it coming at all because they haven't whispered <laughs> gta it. they haven't whispered gta at all what if we're sitting here and we're like yeah playstation 5 pro is gonna be you know it's gonna fly off the shelves but they did say that they have a hardware announcement coming by yes. the end of the year yep we have we do know that Porto two. So, Porto two. what if they literally do do that? What if they they are actually the ones getting the marketing and they actually drop like a handheld or something, <laughs> GTA six or a better or a pro or whatever, and they actually get the marketing rights for GTA? That would be a Uno reverse card for the century of them actually be. being the ones with the marketing. Because if they are, if they do say, look at look, I don't give a crap what Sony's giving you. We'll we'll double it. Yep. You know, we'll double it. Put yeah. it on S's, put it on X's, you know, plaster it everywhere. We already have look at look at us, uh rocks that we are the uh rock star. We are the future. We got Call of Duty. You think everybody's gonna ignore us forever? No. So oh. come with no. us yep. and we'll show you the way. 
fuck yeah, I would want to see that. Yeah, Hell yeah. Absolutely. Now, now here, here, I, I, let, me, let, me, let me paint another picture because I want this to be clear. Grand Theft Auto 6 is not releasing this year. We know that. The, the Rocks, Rock, Rock, Rockstar has told us so. It's coming out next year. When next year? Well, we don't mm -hmm. know. But he, here's an interesting theory, uh, Sir X-Men. So this, we're leading up until June. We're three months away. Up, up until June, what do we have coming out? Well, we have Hellblade 2, which we discussed, we opened the show with. That's going to be a show piece for the box. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. For the Series X and the S. And they're working. It's going to it's gonna work just as good on the S. As it, and obviously, it's going to work better on the X. And it's going to be even better mm -hmm. on a PC. We know that. Dominoes. No, no, no surprise Stalker there. 2, Indiana Jones. Yeah, right. But we, there's there, there's, so there's quite a few games that are going to show off the hardware. But see, this is where we get into the weeds, folks. And again, I'm not a marketing manager. I didn't go to school for, for marketing. I, I, but I like to think I have at least decent common sense. Let's just say for shits and giggles, folks, that Hellblade comes out. Everyone's raving. It's amazing. Graphics we've never seen before. People are drooling. People are crying in the streets. It's great. The June show is supposed to be a monster sized show. They have Activision stuff, they have Blizzard stuff, they have um, Bethesda stuff, and they have Xbox Game Studio stuff, right? They're going to be showing off a lot. But they also have third party uh, partners. Now, we know for an like absolute EA. fact that mm -hmm. they are in bed with 2K. As a matter of fact, uh, the, the, their, their latest, ver their latest uh, uh, N uh, NBA 2K just just dropped into Xbox Game Pass, along with a lot of other 2K stuff. They're, they're, they're good partners. At their conference, if middle of the show, not opening, because they're going to open up with first party, not closing, they're going to close with first party. That's what we want them to do. We want to bookend it. But just imagine, Sir X-Men, middle of the show. And again, this is all hypothetical. And I, I know Meek Gamer is in there saying that we're lunatics. Meek, I hear you, brother. You, you, you know what? Think what you want to think. We're it's, just it's having fun. fun. We're just having fun. You can't have fun? I, I don't know what to tell you. But just imagine the middle of the show, halfway through this 90-minute, this 110-minute event. They just the screen goes to black and the Grand Theft Auto, the new Grand Theft Auto trailer is there. That's, that's how you know they got the marketing rights. And if you say... You don't have to say. In fact, they don't even have to say anything. All they have to do is say, "We got the Grand Theft Auto. We're marketing it." Then what does that say when you see Hellblade and Indiana Jones and Avowed and all these other games running on the Series X? You're gonna say, "Holy shit!" Well, if that looks good there, then Grand Theft Auto is probably gonna run the best there. And that's how the that's how you steal literally the thunder. From anything PlayStation is going to do, you've already pulled the rug out from under them by taking and now owning Call of Duty. You get the marketing rights for Grand Theft Auto, regardless of the cost of it. Who gives a shit? You are going to sell consoles. You are going to sell subscriptions. And people are going to want to play on your box because you have Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto. Let's talk about it. Okay. Let's rewind on how Microsoft does advertising. Let's be real. <laughs> All right. There's some games that we thought they should have put in Super Bowl, different sporting events, and they never do it. These are some of their top games that were coming, that, and they never put it out. This is going on for a few, past few years. So do you think if they do get Grand Theft Auto right, that they're going to advertise it like that, they'll put it on YouTube, they'll put it on Twitch, or, you know, or something like that, or Twitter or something like that. But do you see them putting them in sports events to advertise we've got rights for it? With the track record of Microsoft advertising. Do you think they'll do that? I'm asking you, Boom, let's be real, from no. their track record of advertising. So would it be worth it for them to do it or just let Grand Theft Auto and do its thing because it's going to be everywhere anyway. No, Everybody's I'm, I'm, gonna I'm, I'm going to tell you why because of, of a comment that Fillmore Pockets just made. 
and it answers your question literally perfectly. Fillmore mm-hmm. says this. Xbox having the marketing rights for GTA 6 and Call of Duty would be big for gaming casual gamers. Yeah. That is why they should do it. And that's their biggest problem. They haven't went after the casuals. They've just been putting advertising well, would, in with a hardcore would, dwell. Yeah. I you would know, argue, you though, You need to put your stuff back. on, like, Nickelodeon sporting events. Uh, like we've been saying, Halo. Why didn't they shoot a new Halo on, on a yeah, sporting but, event when it was coming out that year? Why, why not Hellblade? I don't see no advertising anywhere oh, else. Can I, can I push back yeah, 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 for a second? Yeah, yeah. yeah just, just a second, since, and we could, like, get out of here as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah. But um, I'm going to push back. Uh, th- they literally just bought, like, the biggest publisher of old time for the casuals <laughs> so so if they were to start uh now's when they rev up the engine nothing they have is bigger than anything they bought from activision blizzard nothing and i say nothing with a big n nothing nothing yeah but there are that. some of those playstation ca- ca- real casuals didn't even don't even care about the abk thing they just care about yeah, but, call of duty and as long as it's coming to where they play I, they don't care no but yeah, but anyway. They love Call no, of Duty I get you. as long as they can play it. See, Microsoft, will they take advantage of the fact that they own Activision? Because there are still some people out there that do not know it, do not pay attention to what's going on in the industry like we do. Casuals just have a system and they want to play the game when it comes out. They don't care if Sony owns it or Microsoft owns it as long as they, they can the, play yeah. it. I mean, you're, you're, you're not wrong, uh, but, but here's the thing. They, they will care when you can play Call of Duty for $17 mm-hmm. versus seventy six forty three. Okay, does Microsoft mm-hmm. advertise Game Pass? Dude, yeah, I mean, but, no. But Call of Duty will. <laughs> Call, of, Call of Duty yeah. will, and people will. Call of will. Duty will, yes. Yeah. It, it's going to sell itself. The services, all they have to do is put on, a, on an ad that Call of Duty is in Game Pass and put a price I want them to. to it. I want I them mean, to. We both know that's what they should do, Boom. Yeah, absolutely. That's what they should do. But with their track record, will they? Well, I mean, if they're if they if they're smart and they want to they want to get the if they want to get the casual audience into the into the ecosystem, then yeah, they better. Uh, this yeah. is why I opened up with, "Hey, I'm sorry, Microsoft. I know that you're listening to to the show, and I know some of you that you do." I gotta call, I gotta call you out. You know, do better with the marketing because sometimes it's 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 just wacky to me. Yeah, uh, no disrespect, but it's time to put your boot down. You spend all this money. Yep. Take advantage of it now that you own them. Take I, advantage I, of it. Absolutely. Use and, uh, it. You've got the power. You're a three trillion dollar company. There is no reason why you should not be rubbing it in, gloating on it. And showing why you did it and promote your game pass that you have. There's no excuse. A thousand percent. Uh, Louis, let's get, your, let's get your final take. We'll get everyone out of here. 800 plus people in the chat. Folks, if you're finding the channel for the first time, for the love of Joe, please consider subscribing. I do this Monday through Friday. Uh, one of the few streamers that actually live stream Monday through Friday. And they're all different shows, all great panels, all great content. And if you like it and you like the conversation that we had today, consider hitting the like button on your way out. And, of course, the uh, the, the uh, bell icon if you're feeling extra generous. That's so right, because Boom gives you the power five days a week. Very, very yeah, well, thank you. Respect brother. that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Crazy Lou Game, let's get your hot take on this. Grand Theft Auto, why are we all assuming that Sony PlayStation has those marketing rights? I don't think that they do. I just don't. I don't think they can afford it. I think it, <clears throat> it behooves Microsoft to get it just based on what we've put down. What are your thoughts? Man, I just hope. Here's the thing, though, Mr. Rooster, with Microsoft's marketing with the Xbox, it's not that great. No, it's I, not. Just, I just hope that really put up the notch with it. Like we, we were talking about how Call of Duty is coming to Game Pass. And they they got they got to push that market. They got to push it. They got to push it. They got to sit down with Activision Blizz, have conversations with them, because since they are really good with marketing, why the heck not? You guys have them under your wing. Sit down with them, get that marketing up, and let's push this console farther. 
right now as it holds i mean supposedly it's at 27.7 million sales supposedly i don't know if that's true but they really do need a big market push for that console mm -hmm. not only for game not only for game pass game pass is great game pass is, gr is growing and it needs to grow more of course but they need that boost for that console they need to sit down and find a way to push it especially since they got the big titles under their wing they need to push that and if they do get gta 6 i mean let's cross fingers and see if they do that'll be freaking fantastic then they actually got to push that triple of what they've been pushing uh in the in the marketing lately so yeah, yeah. All right gotta just don't it. advertise it on your dashboard put it out everywhere else please exactly they, they absolutely should no no doubt about that but ladies and gentlemen that's going to do it for today's show real quick andrew andrew uh, andre andrew and andre doyle Drops a very generous five dollar super chat. He's a tech guy. He says Xbox PC hybrid powered by Microsoft AI will be 64 cores and 128 threads. Nice. Zen 5, meanwhile, the PlayStation 5 Pro, eight cores, uh, 16 threads, Zen 3, if it's real with no games. I mean, <laughs> we got wrong. It. Well, uh, Gamzy, let, let's sell your brand, brother. Tell everyone where they can check yeah. you. Asa and Deadly Headley, or Headley Deadly. I think it's a uh, <laughs> Deadly Headley. Uh, where it's can they check out? Headley. Obviously, you guys do a real good podcast. It's great, great yes. conversation. I uh, love the work that you're doing over there. Where could people subscribe to that? And more importantly, where could people follow you on social yeah, media? So you, could, you could follow me on X uh, at Gamsley TKD, all one, one place um and also on instagram anthony capello i got a lot of real life stuff there so you could if you like sports and stuff instagram is the way to go uh if you like everything gaming gaming arcadia uh has a ton of stuff going on every day of the week and you can find me on xbox series podcast there every thursday at 3 p.m where i talk xbox and maybe more to come who knows um and yeah it's really fun there guys and you of course could find me Mondays right here uh, at 12 p.m. Eastern Time for lunch with Boom. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thanks, that guys. very much. And uh, let's uh, continue on. Uh, Sir X-Men, sell your brand, brother. What, what else you got going on? Where else do you podcast? And more importantly, where can people follow you on social you media? Can see, you can see me on Friday at 8 o'clock Central Time. As K-Mega say, Central Time is the Lord's time. Um, but... um. That's about it. Other than that, I'm still playing Tomb Raider. Every now and then, I jump in with Noof Nukem on Sundays. We play Halo. We could have used you on a Sunday big time, boom. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, it, it, it's difficult. On the weekends are all Mrs. Boom, man. I, it's I very hard for me to But um, other than that, that's about it, people. I pop in and out of different places every now and then when people need me. That's about it. All right, well, listen, great to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us today, brother, and giving us your hot take on all of the hot to hot button topics. And lastly, Crazy Lou Gaming, who is not podcasting with Miss Shower today, which is great to know. I uh, wish. Sell the brand <laughs> of the Xbox International Podcast. Where can people check that out Wednesday evenings? How they can help you subscribe and get those numbers up. And more importantly, where can people follow you on social media? Guys, drop the link in the chat. So go ahead and subscribe if you want to. Really, will really help up us boost the channel. Oh man, simple and easy. You can find me at Twitter, Crazy Louis Gaming, where I do all sorts of crazy videos. Lately, I haven't been doing the much. I've been just real busy with life and work, but I'll come back. I'll come back anytime soon. On Wednesdays on the Xbox International Podcast at 7 p.m. ET with Sour Blow, Silent Cypher, and the Big Boom. And last week, we had a short episode. Our guest got sick, but yes, New Legal is 100% confirmed for this Wednesday. So we are having New Legal as a guest. And Friday, Xbox International Podcast in Espanol with Eternal Shaddai, Ascap Gaming, and Elvio at 7 p.m. ET. Also, if you guys speak Spanish, go over there and subscribe. And Mr. Boostick, thank you, like always, for having me on. Amazing episode today. I can't believe you hang out with that my crazy dude, Eternal Shaddai. He crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Thank you so much, I love gentlemen. Them, we had almost 800 people here. That is absolutely astounding. Again, please consider hitting the like button on your way out. And, of course, a big thank you to all of the channel members that continue to support us through membership as well as the generosity through uh, Super Chats. Obviously, we we do a lot of things on the back end. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be announcing tomorrow, give you a little bit of a sneak peek, uh, Ben Kenobi, who's been making these incredible Xbox coins. Well, he has sent me a ton of them, and I'm going to be sending out full sets of everything he has put out, including the Diablo 4 one to five winners. Uh, I do have others. I'm going to, I'm going to kind of spread them out. But the, the big deal is we're going to be sending out uh, – fi- and it's going to – folks, I hate to say this. It's not going to be internationally because it's too much, it's too expensive for shipping. Uh, to ship uh, some, like five coins, it cost me like $50. And if I do that for five people, that's $250 in shipping. And fortunately, the coin contest is going to be here for the United States because of the shipping. It's just, it's just way too much uh, for the channel to take on. Uh, but we uh, again, we can't do any of this without the, the the crazy generous support. So a big thank you once again for that. And of course, I'm going to close out today's show with something that's incredibly important to me. Hopefully, one day it'll be important to you. And that's something that my dad taught us when we were kids. And he would say this: "Craig, treat others how you want to be treated." And also, it doesn't cost anything to be nice. You live by those rules, son. I can guarantee you, you're going to have. On an awesome day. So take care, everyone. We'll see you next week on the newest episode of the Xbox Lunch Break Special. Yeah.